Hello friends, in this video I will be discussing about two dimensional parity checking technique. Now in this technique we can detect up to three bit errors. Okay, so uh, we can say that it can detect burst errors to some extent. Now in case of two dimensional parity checking technique we can use more than one data segment at a time. That is, the two dimensional parity checking technique can detect errors from more than two data segments at a single point of time. Okay, so uh, we will proceed with the even parity approach. So, let's write some data segments. So, 110101. Zero, one, zero, one. 101010 zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, zero, and 101011 one, 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 one. okay so these are our data segments now what we will have to do we will have to calculate two things okay the first one is lrc and the second one is VRC okay now what is LRC LRC is nothing but longi longitudinal redundancy check okay so LRC is nothing but longitudinal redundancy check and VRC is nothing but vertical redundancy check Okay, now what does these terms mean? LRC means nothing but we have to calculate the row wise parity. Okay, and VRC is nothing but we have to calculate the vertical or column wise parity and write here. Okay, so it's simple. So, first of all, let us calculate the LRC. So, LRC for the first row is since there are four ones, therefore, and we are proceeding with the even parity. Therefore, the first LRC will be 0. The second LRC will also, no, the second LRC will be 1 because there are 3 number of 1s. The third LRC will also be 1 because there are 3 1s. And the last LRC will be 0 because there are 4 1s. Now, we will calculate the VRC. The first VRC will be 1. The second VRC will be 0. The third VRC will be 1. The fourth VRC will be 1, fifth one will be also 1, and the sixth one will be 0, and this one will be 0. Okay? So, these are our LRCs and VRCs. Okay? Now, this whole data set, this whole data set is transmitted. Okay? Now, if this exact data set is received by the receiver, then there is no error. But in case, Let's assume that there is an error in this bit. Okay, this was 0 and we have changed it to 1. Okay, so now what will happen? Now at the receiver's end, the receiver will again calculate the LRC and the VRC. So let's see what happens. Now we will calculate the LRCs and VRCs again. So the first LRC will be 0. The first LRC will be 0. The second LRC will be 1, 2, 3, 4. This will also be 0. The third one will be 1, 2, 3. So it will be 1. The fourth one will be 1, 2, 3, 4. So 0. Now we will calculate the VRCs. So the first VRC will be 1. Second one will be 0. Third one will be 1. 4th one will be 0, 5th one will be 1 and the 6th one will be 0 and this one will be 1. Okay? So, now you can see one thing. You will see this has changed to 0 and here this has changed to 1. Okay? So, now we can say that there is an error. Now, 
in this case we can also detect where is the error how we will do that we will just intersect the position of the LRCs and the VRCs okay now since there is an error we will go straight up and since there is an error we will go straight left so this intersects here that means there is an error in this beat okay so in this way we can detect whether there is an error or not in the similar way you can do it for the odd parity and also for 2 and 3 bit errors now what if there are 4 bit errors okay so now so this was our previous and the original data set now what will happen if we change 4 bits so here it is 0 so let's change it to 1 here it's again 0 so let's change it to 1 here it is 1 let's change it to 0 and here it is 1 let's change it to 0 ok so we have changed 4 bits this one this one this one and this one ok so we have changed these bits now let's see what happens we will calculate the LRC and the VRC again so for the first LRC it's all ones that means 1 2 3 4 5 6 that means 0 this one remains same as there is no change this one 1 2 ok now here it is 0 ok now here 1 2 3 that means 1 ok again in this case we will calculate the VRC so here it is 1 1 2 3 so it's 1 here it is 2 ones therefore 0 there are 3 ones therefore 1 here is only 1 that means 1 there are 4 ones that means it will be 0 and finally here it will be 1 ok now as you can see this one has changed this one has changed here this one has changed this one has changed ok now if we follow the previous method of intersection then we will see it is going here it is going here this one is going here and this one is going here ok so for one intersection is here that means this bit has error another intersection is here either this bit or this bit or this bit but as you can see only one bit among all the four possibilities is wrong and the rest three have not been detected so this is a limitation of the two dimensional parity check that is it cannot detect errors more than if there are more than three bit errors then it will not be able to detect that errors ok so this was all about the two dimensional parity check and stay tuned to my channel for my next videos if you are new to this channel then please do subscribe to my channel like the videos and share them among your friends so that they can also get some help so thank you